Today I'm sharing simple recipes that I love for anti-bloating and good digestion, which are really key elements of having a good meal in my opinion. And I have been addicted to all of these. I find that I can eat really good foods that I'm craving and that taste really good, but that fuel my body really well at the same time. And as always, I'm prioritizing my other favorite forms of nourishment every day, including being in the sobering silence with myself, dropping into simple forms of self-care, and spending time with people who remind me of who I am. And when I'm fed in all of these ways, I'm way less likely to use food to overcompensate for other feelings and can instead use it as a form of medicine, ritual, and self-love. So let's get into it. I'm going to share these recipes with you in the order that I would eat them so you'll notice in the timeline first I'm going to do the greens the salads and then the starchy recipes and then the sweet things at the end and this just helps to prevent a spike in your blood sugar throughout the day by getting that fiber in having savory breakfast is going to be really beneficial to your health and why I added anti-aging to the title of this video because constantly spiking your blood sugar can lead to quicker aging internally and externally and if you want to learn more about this I'll leave some resources down below but I love to have a nice fiber filled whole foods breakfast to start and you can add whatever proteins you want to each of these meals the salad is so delicious these are all of the ingredients here I'm making a bigger portion of it but you can make smaller and all of these recipes are low FODMAP which is a diet that I am starting because I myself have been having some gut issues which is why I've been doing a lot more research and why I've been making these recipes for myself it's really been helping Eating tons of fiber may not be the best for you if your body's not used to it um, and you're trying not to bloat. And also cruciferous vegetables are an easy thing to try and avoid as well as mixing cooked and raw foods throughout the day. If you're eating fruit in between rice and veggies, the food combining, it might make you <laughs> have some gas and have some bloating. This dressing is like liquid gold in here. Wow. So here we have it, a delicious, refreshing cucumber salad. Great way to start off any meal. And this is actually a copycat recipe of the cucumber salad at Erewhon, which is this bougie health food store, but you can make so much for less and it tastes so good. On to the next salad. This one is even simpler and I have started my past five mornings off with this recipe and it just makes me feel so good. And the first thing I like to do is just massage the dressing into the kale. I'm using white cannellini beans, a decent amount of sunflower seeds and pumpkin seeds. Oh my goodness. Yum. Now listen, I'm not telling you that you should eat this for breakfast. It just works for me. <laughs> I might make mistakes and I don't know everything, but this is a really yummy salad and I can vouch for that. So here we have a white bean and avocado salad. I have to say eating carbs makes me feel so good, especially if I have an upset tummy eating steamed rice, a steamed potato, it just soaks everything all up and neutralizes everything for me. And so does this mac and cheese recipe. It's gluten free, it has really simple ingredients and is so quick and easy to make. So let's get in the kitchen and whip it up. I'm so excited to try this. The way the light is shining on this is just immaculate, but mac and cheese is one of my comfort meals and this one doesn't irritate my tummy. Sometimes I'll put hot sauce on top. I really like eating mac and cheese with roasted tomatoes because it kind of balances out the flavor and gives you a different texture with all the creaminess of the mac noodles, but. Mmm, it's just too good. 
Next, I'm making a new favorite soup of mine, and the base is ginger and kabocha squash. This creates a really nice, sweet, but sort of spicy balance. I love ginger in soups. The base is vegetable stock. For the greens, we have some chard, and then optional chickpeas. One third of a cup of chickpeas, I believe, is low FODMAP, but you can add tofu to this, tempeh, any other kind of beans that you like in soup or any protein source. And then we'll be adding some curry spices, some turmeric, a little bit of cinnamon. This is just gonna be a really healing soup and we'll top it all off with some lemon, some spring onions. And I just am such a soup fanatic. I love that you can add anything into them. I feel like it's so easy to make soup recipes out of anything that you have in your fridge. So let's quite literally just throw this all together in a pot. forgot my spring onions to top it all off. Wow. That squash is one of my favorite things. Really yummy, nourishing, grounding soup. You can add coconut milk to this to make it even creamier. But coconut milk literally always makes me bloated. Next, we're making some pancakes. I have my gluten-free flour ready, and I'm just gonna throw all these ingredients into the bowl, slowly incorporating the sweet potato first. Just like you and me, babe. I'm not asking for much, just tell it a place to call my home. This is like a blueberry muffin pancake. The sweet potato does make them a little bit thicker and more cake like. This is the last recipe of the day. It's a little berry crumble. All I did was mix together the dry ingredients with the wet ingredients, and you can use any kind of flour or crumbly topping that you want. In my food videos, I always have like a million different alterations that you can make because you can use whatever you have in your pantry and make something yummy. So I used a mix of almond flour, gluten-free flour, and some oats on top, but you can just use gluten-free flour. You can just use oats if that agrees with your tummy. I just used a little bit, sprinkled some on top, and oh my goodness, I also have this coconut yogurt which it is so nice to mix with oh, this cobbler it's like ice cream with a chocolate brownie one of those perfect combos so let's have a little bite it's fresh out of the oven mm. wow even though it's just a little bit of crumble on top it really does taste like you're eating a whole pie it hits the spot Mmm, I did use frozen berries, so there's a lot of liquid in here, which I'll probably just pour into the sink. It's probably best to use fresh berries so that there's less water, but yeah, this is my go-to dessert since I've been feeling a little bit imbalanced in my tummy. I have been slightly inflamed. You might be able to see it in my face. I feel like I'm a little puffy, but I got a bunch of testing done to see what exactly is going on in my gut. It could be SIBO, could be H. pylori, could be a parasite, and I will know in a few weeks. So I have hope, but until then, I'm going to be eating really well, nourishing myself with love. But yeah, this is my go-to dessert. It really hits the spot. I'm so happy. I did a mix of strawberry and blueberry, and it's just so good. Mmm. Mm-hmm. I ate all of this. <laughs> yes, as she should. Mmm, <laughs> the yogurt. It tastes like whipped cream. I feel like I'm eating cake. <laughs> oh my god, yes. And it's <laughs> gluten free and refined sugar free. Mmm, mmm, mmm. <laughs>